ideas again to show us those possible Well, thank you for um, raising that question. First, let me absolutely reassure you that no one from this administration, from President Obama to Secretary Kerry, has ever asked me to reduce PEPFAR funds in Kenya. So no, polit no as you describe, on political situation, no one has asked me to decrease funding to Kenya. In fact, we have the Kenya team, a whole bunch of them, coming back on the end of August to meet with us for a week so that we can go through in detail what Kenya needs to control the pandemic and are we doing everything as a PEPFAR community to help Kenya control the pandemic. So I want you to know we take the, the epidemic in Kenya very seriously. We're deeply impressed by the gains that have been achieved. We know we need to do more still out in Nuanza. Nuanza still has 14, 15% prevalence, where Northeast has 1.6% prevalence. The entire, just to be clear about the cuts, there was not a cut to Kenya, although I know it looks like that. What happened was Kenya had built up funding from prior years, so the total funding envelope for Kenya is the same, and the expenditures that Kenya needs to control the epidemic should be close to the same, but we're looking very carefully at everything we're doing in Kenya to ensure that we're doing the absolute best job we can within the funding envelope. Because I think your question is, is how do we continue to drive down the pandemic? I'm committed to that. Secretary Kerry's committed to that. President Obama's committed to that. We're committed to driving down the pandemic in Kenya. And that's why the team is coming back for these meetings at the end of August to see what we need to do to do a better job.